Before we get started with the art books, and I advise you to stick around because I'm sure there's at least a couple you haven't heard of yet, I want to take a moment to acknowledge you. Thank you. I've only just started on this journey and the amount of love and support has been overwhelming. Your drive to become an artist is something I care deeply about. I want you to succeed and your support lets me do that. I just want you to know that I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure I reciprocate the love and support that you have given me over the past few months and help you change your life and become an artist. And with that being said, let's talk art books. Here are five life-changing art books to study in 2022. First one on the list is Drawing is Magic by John Hendricks. You've likely never heard of this book, and I was in the same boat. I honestly don't remember how I found it. When I was searching for artists that had the same ideas that were swirling around in my head for this business, this was the book that I came across, and the only book I could find. <laughs> if you started drawing as a kid, you know how liberating and fun that can be. You had no judgment, it didn't matter if you were terrible at it. You were just thrilled to explore the ideas and worlds in your head and put them on paper. This book helps you recapture that feeling you had when you were a kid. The text jumps out at you everywhere and scrolls along each page like a treasure map. It's bold and pushes you out of your comfort zone, except there's none of the fear. He draws you in with fun and intriguing drawings and things to try. You just can't help yourself to want to draw. The only danger is the book is so interesting and cool to look at that you might not want to draw in it because you fear ruining it. Um, in that case, maybe buy a second copy or a separate sketchbook, but I encourage you to draw in it. That is what it's meant for. If you want a fun way to introduce yourself to drawing or bring yourself back to it, this is the book that you're going to want. Number two is Creative Illustration by Andrew Loomis. This is hands down the best book written and illustrated by Andrew Loomis. He has other books, I'm sure you've heard of them. <laughs> Loomis's books are studied by pretty much every young artist, even professionals use his books as a framework for studying inspiration and motivation. The reason why creative illustration is so impactful is because it has deep roots in composition, which is one of the most important things uh, you need when you're trying to create drawing or illustration painting. The examples in this book are legendary. Loomis knew how to draw and he knew how to talk about drawing. And the same with painting. He takes the fundamentals and expands upon them in a way that no other book ever really does. And all the while he relates back to composition and impact. If there was a bible to studying to be an artist, this book would be as close as you could get to it. And his other books are just as good but they just supplement all the knowledge that he gives in this one. Number three is Morpho, Anatomy for Artists by Michelle Loricello? Michelle Loricella. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I believe it's French. If it wasn't for TikTok, I wouldn't even know about this book. I thought that I may have slept on it during my time at art school, but I found out later that it was published only very recently in December of 2020. There are a lot of bad art books out there, especially on anatomy. And I don't mean to say that to be controversial and that everybody is bad <laughs> at drawing anatomy. It's just that there are so many resources now at your disposal. You have to pick and choose the ones that are worth your time. The Morpho books are 100% worth it. The anatomy in this book is so well drawn and thought out. You can see how he thought of the forms in a simplified way and also in a more detailed depiction. I'm never lost or confused looking at his drawings. They're clean and elegant, perfect for teaching, or for you, perfect for studying. <laughs> this book, as well as I believe the five others that he created, will be a classic guide to anatomy in the next couple of years, so get ahead and study it now. Number four is Alla Prima 2 by Richard Schmidt. Sadly, Richard Schmidt passed away in April of 2021. Uh, but his wisdom and knowledge, they live on. If you don't want to paint, you could probably safely skip this book, but his knowledge about the artist experience is really remarkable, and I would still give it a read. Maybe just don't make it the first book that you buy. You never know, he might even make you want to paint. 
I remember reading this book for the first time and it felt like Richard knew me. He's very in touch with the artist's experience, especially as a painter. The detail in which you'll learn about light and color is unprecedented. If Andrew Loomis created the Bible of studying to be an artist, Alla Prima is the Bible to how to paint or how to be a painter. And number five, the last book, but not least, is Atomic Habits by James Clear. The last book is not an art book, what? <laughs> I didn't make a mistake, this book is here for an express purpose, the same as the rest of them. It will change your life as an artist. Half of the battle of drawing and painting is learning the craft. The other, mastering the ability to make consistent effort. If you can't make a healthy drawing habit, you're not going to apply yourself long enough to become a successful artist. And this is exactly where most of us struggle. Atomic Habits will help you battle that part of your brain that just wants to watch Netflix. You'll be able to successfully find a path to a professional artist with his guidance. I'm doing it now, and many of you have joined me already, and there's a heavy amount of influence from this book. So if you're struggling to sit down and draw, read this book first. I hope this list of books helps you start the new year strong as an artist. You don't have to study them all at once and try to go crazy. Just make an effort to improve yourself 1% each day. That's it. Even if you start drawing for five minutes and you improve from there, you'll be so much farther by the end of the year than you would if you were off and on from your drawing practice. Being consistent is the key to a healthy and happy relationship with your creative process, and it will lead you to success. Thank you again for coming on this journey with me. It's only been a few months, but it's already been fantastic. We have a ton of more things to go over that will help you make a healthy creative process and help you succeed in your art journey. So stick around and happy holidays.